Day two of the NFL draft will get underway at 7 o'clock tonight and two local athletes who happen to be brothers could be selected before the night is over. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Stroline joins us now with more. Well, Chaz and Sage Surratt spent their high school days playing ball in Lincoln County, but then they went their separate ways for college where Chaz attended North Carolina and Sage attended Wake Forest. But they recently reunited to train together ahead of the NFL draft, and they tell us it's an experience that they're excited to share. We're just you know, really excited to you know, see where this you know, new part of our career goes and takes us. Yeah, just so, you know, excited for the next step, you know, excited to be able to you know, uh, be with our family at the time. You know, very grateful, uh, you know, for the opportunity, you know, what's happened, you know, just ready for the next step. Only 14 months separate the two, and they tell us growing up in the Surratt household, well, it provided numerous competitive moments. It was always back and forth uh, every, in everything we did. We always wanted to win. Coaches wouldn't let us be on the same team because if we were on the same, it wouldn't be fair. But to be on the opposite team, we were always going at it. Uh, now we had some good times, a lot of, you know, broken controllers. A lot of thrown, you know, chess pieces. Anytime I beat Chaz growing up, you know, he'd want to fight me afterwards. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you know, like, so, I mean, I, I always was trying to beat him. And he always trying to choke me out after this. So, after I win, you know, I got to be cautious and be ready. <laughs> Especially when I was younger, be ready to run at that point. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, definitely when we got older, you know, the games got a lot better. Uh, way more competitive, you know. Uh, just being able, you know, have somebody like that was fun. Um, and, you know, we always think about those times and talk about them. So, it's always good to look back on that. And despite where the next chapter of their careers take them, there are a few moments that will always be at the top of their list. For me, it was either the first touchdown pass I threw to Sage, and he was a freshman, I was a sophomore, or it was when we won the state championship my junior year and Sage's sophomore year, and we like hug each other after the game. So I would say that was, that was probably two that stick out for me. I'm gonna go with the state championship one. That was that was probably the top of them all, you know, especially because we because I ran I went. Ran to him. He was running down all the way down the field, so I had to, like chase him a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Like he was running down the field with his hand up, and I had to chase him for like 30 yards. But that's what I say. That was a pretty special moment to win that together. So a special thank you to Chaz and Sage for taking the time to talk with us in the middle of a very busy week. And of course, it's been a joy to cover their career up to this point, and we can't wait to see where they end up in Uptown. Ashley Stroline for WCNC Charlotte.